So since it's a one hour uh, session uh, team, um, so let's jump into the session. Uh, thank you. Thank you for this uh, invitation. And I'm glad that you're joining me for this session. Uh, since it's one hour, as I told you, let's make it more active, uh, learn in the process and take away a few uh, insights what we are looking at. Yeah. So, uh, sure, I'm just, I'm just uh, uh, seeing the chat box and yes, people are able to confirm. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so, so, so f team of NMIMS university students, it's a great opportunity uh, that NMIMS university is giving you uh, this kind of a webinar in this pandemic time and be connected with all of the team members, right? true we understand that it's an extraordinary time for most of us as we have not seen such a pandemic thing happening through our generation right however uh, you know such uh, pandemic we have heard in the past like uh, i remember my grandmother talking about the plague related uh, swine flu was there in the past or even the cholera or a chicken pox related we have dealt with it what does that mean to us you know we have tried through this history we are definitely over going to you know overcome this covid uh, time also so we are certain to conquer this covid uh, and get into uh, you know normal zone however in this pandemic time you know uh, our nation has taken a call our prime minister has taken a call to make a lockdown and uh, nmims also uh, following that work from home option for you guys it's so glad and so uh, lucky for all of you uh, including me i would say working from home is not a normalcy for anybody for that matter uh, we miss all the fun right going to college meeting all our friends having that uh, canteen connect and uh, you know meeting our lecturers or our friends all that matters how many of you agree that you know you are missing your campus say love on the chat box i want to see some energy from all of you guys here yeah so let's let's take some action um yeah, you might be uh, not only from NMIMS or anywhere, you know, you want to get back to normalcy. If yes, say chat box. Yeah, yeah, right. Yes, the fun and energy, office work, definitely. Yeah, we are working from home itself. Yes, definitely. That's all there, guys. Uh, yeah, classes are canceled, exams are being rescheduled, universities are shut for, you know, uh, indefinitely. Uh, and for the organization, it has come to, you know, work from home only option. Yeah, uh, the, this webinar is to help you guys, you know, uh, to work around from home. How can you manage that? You know, these are some few tips uh, which I'm going to share with you to manage collaborate and enable more ways to connect with each other in this pandemic uh, uh, period. Maybe working remotely is a challenge for few of you. Some strategy and technique and changes which will transform yourself is something very important. And we need to focus our way of life and we need to lead that way. And that's what I'm uh, going to address here. Um, I'm sure let's agree guys that everything uh yeah do, daily routine has uh, been a uh, you know impact we see connect has been a normalcy like the way we are doing it today not so that everything happens happens for a reason right so let's face it and uh, yeah and it's a great transformation is what we need to be looking at and that's what some uh, tips and techniques which i will be sharing out to you guys yeah we will come back to the miss and the fun part also how we are going to work on that so you should understand you know the world is going through this pandemic 
there is corona news going everywhere possible the media is blasting it with all the required news yeah and you are having all the information also on your finger uh, tips right we are facing that uh, ups and downs of our life in this uh, lockdown period or in this uh, quarantine period so so let's understand what are the struggles we are having now to adapt to manage from home so let me hear from you guys you know what are what is that uh, uh, challenges you are facing or a struggle you are facing in this uh, pandemic period you can put your thoughts on that 180 degree wow yes what else what what else what are the struggles you are facing coming down yes most of the industries have gone for it uh, you know going to slow down there would be a different approach to uh, even work life also would be a yeah time is a very crucial element which we need to be mindful about infrastructure retail uh, you know uh, real estate industry everything is going to get a hit no business yes human interaction promotion salary cut is there yes yes true i agree with all of these in fact uh, you know uh, there are uh, yes we have to go through this uh, pandemic period the reason being the nature has given us a big big slap to us guys you know uh, in the in this period we are not able to collaborate we have a lot of fear anxiety our motivation level also is gone low and we are also actually procrastinating a lot of things right uh, yeah we will do it something after the lockdown period our discipline has gone at toss yeah time management life discipline loose yes agree rajul uh, distractions are very very high because you are at home you are with that kind of a uh, you know uh, uh, environment which you were not at the normal see at the you know and you are not getting the reliable wifi also these days you know because everyone have gone online so kind of uh, you know uh, challenges we are facing it's uh, troublesome you you know that's getting to fear stress anxiety and all of that and the recent news you might have heard that bmw uh, india ceo rudra tej singh he was actually giving a lot of nuggets for his employees to how to handle stress but he died with a heart attack in the recent time and last two days we have lost a, a big bollywood actors yeah the struggle is there at one side let's agree to that and i want you guys to consciously be mindful about you know consciously be aware that there are struggles and we need to face it and if there are struggle at one side there are good things are also happening right yeah and know that every problem has a solution do you agree for me yeah in fact there are multiple solutions anyway uh, any time you have a plan right you have a plan a plan b so that means there are solutions there are a positive aspect for any negative in witty in our life so let's look at the bright side guys so let me hear from you you know what are you enjoying at this moment i heard somebody saying netflix what are the positive sides you are enjoying yeah that panic will be there family time cooking yes everyone has become a expert yes time with family playing after a long time yes everyone have forgotten that playing element right that's so yeah i don't like the pajamas thing yeah but then we have to get into the discipline yeah true yeah extra curricular courses yes reading good interesting working on interest hobbies yes wonderful the best thing before i talk about family guys our mother earth is healing healing in a big big way you, uh, you know river ganga is becoming cleaner the sky is becoming clean pollution is uh, very nice you know that's the that's the healing thing which we have given to the nature with this kind of a lockdown and definitely a blessing time uh, you know the family time has come uh, very well uh, to us commute has reduced a lot so there is no travel in the morning or even the evening the pollution is uh, you know urgency call for urgency rush for the meetings rush for the early class hours everything has come for a halt so you're not missing your breakfast in the morning you are having it on time and most of us have become health focused right yeah 
uh, health focused, you have gone, uh, you have that flexibility in your uh, schedule, car fuels being saved, you are connecting with the nature is something we are working on. In fact, I got a call from one of the farmers saying that, you know, he is able to supply his uh, fruits grown in his farm through one of the NGOs. So he's gone digital. So learning has been boomed in a very big way. No junk food because you are eating home food, so eating the right diet food. Mommy is cooking you nicely. You are also exploring cooking something very nice. So that's what is enjoying moment in the COVID time or a lockdown time, right? Learning digital, it's really, uh, you know, um, gone very high i would say uh, like udemy plural site national digital library uh, many platforms on the learning has uh, enrollments have gone very high and they have also been kind to give uh, you know that whole platform as a free to many of the users uh, local merchants have gone very high. Entertainment is gone, uh, has come home now. You don't have to go to malls, spend a lot of money, Amazon Prime and things like that. You can enjoy here. C costs have really come down. So guys, with a positive note, you have also gone with a lot of innovations are also happening. Uh, I was, uh, I switched on a TV for uh, one time and I saw somebody has done a, done a you know, uh, sterilization through drone. How is that possible? That too with 200 liters of uh, you know, sterilization. That's what Make in India is happening. And if your recent uh, one is a Mark Zuckerberg and Mukesh Ambani have also closed a big deal. What more do we need? You know, let's, so, so the approach guys, yes, yeah, ration distribution, Zomato, many of the industries have gone uh, with a new perspective of looking at uh, the opportunity uh, at this pandemic time. So what I want to tell you is, you know, uh, focus less on the negativity. Yes, negativity is there, but I want you to more pay attention to the positive things. Consciously be mindful how you can get up to face that struggle with a positive outlook. That is what is important in the, uh, you know, as uh, we go up in the life, right? Again, I'm repeating, we should be consciously be mindful with the positive outlook, guys. Are you with me in this? Yeah, to be positive, say yes on the chat box, guys. Yeah, so I love, love the people who have raised and thank you, thank you so much. Yes, very important to have that uh, positive uh, uh, outlook. So now let me tell you a story here, you know. Uh, uh, here is a huge jar. Uh, can you all see that with a full of rice and there is a cute little mouse which has fallen into it yeah so he's so happy there you know that he's in his, his best place is what he's thinking he's getting his food he's enjoying the moment and this this is definitely a lovely thing to happen completely protected everything at a fingertip without doing anything yeah isn't it a wonderful thing to happen for anybody? Yeah, you're getting at everything at your comfort zone. Yeah, until one day, guys, the mouse ran out of rice. At this time, that mouse discovered that it was in the deep, deep bottom of the jar. And it did not even know how to go out from there. He had no strength nor skill to move out, but only to look out and cry. You know what? In the process, he has not learned the skill. He has not gained the strength how to handle the situation when everything is available at the comfort, how to handle when there is a situation which when there is nothing. Do you agree or Think about yourself. Are you getting into such trap? Guys, I'm pausing here to think about, is there a time, are you getting trapped? Yeah, I'm not saying come out of the house and get trapped with a cop and that's not the intent. I'm talking about your own comfort zone at everything available and you're very lazy, lethargic and it's okay, dekha jayega kind of an attitude, yeah? So guys, realize that this is a right time to put all your attention to move out of your comfort zone. And believe me, life is much outside the comfort jar. And we definitely need to take action. 
yeah and let me know your views are you willing to take action yeah thank you uh, yeah exactly 100% thank you so many raising the hand yeah so it's important to get aware about ourselves where we are standing life is beautiful guys when it is explored and that is what we need to look at and we should not be getting into the trap called comfort and that's not the place we need to be uh, living at yeah yeah sure so so moving on you know since most of you said yes and you are ready to take action bang on just realize that you know uh, it's like a, uh, your comfort zone is like a frog in the well or a fish in a bowl right uh, you are accustomed to that environment and you are okay to live with that and that's not the life and that's not the end and that's not the world you have to make a leap you need to jump out you need to start uh, see a different world so you need to come out of your comfort zone and guys believe me that the magic will begin only outside your comfort circle have you ever heard of saying that you know life can change only if you are willing to take that one step ahead so more you get polished more it shines you know you need to go through that rough edges to be a diamond you know diamond cannot be uh, you know shining and that value for it because it has gone through that process else it's an any other ordinary stone guys so believe me that you know when you become a diamond when you become that star when you carve that niche for yourself then you will have a story for your life the magic has already happened in your life like uh, gorgopal das ji says that growth begins at the end of your comfort zone and look at the size of the circle of your comfort zone to the magic and that's what we need to make a shift are you ready to grow with me in this uh, journey guys so say grow in the chat box so i know that you are all engaged yeah yes i will answer that subject matter expert to comfort zone yes lovely thank you thank you we bang on uh, yeah amazing that you know all are uh, talking about the grow yes it, it, otherwise there is no life right yeah i will take down your questions uh, uh, i will be answering in the slides itself the questions what you have asked now since you are ready to get into the magic you need to pay attention guys what is the reality let's face it right because we need to understand what is the reality why is that success you know do you uh, why that magic happens to only few people and not for all yeah uh, you might have seen there are some people who are successful around you can you visualize can you think about somebody yeah you are going to same class same lecturer only few students are able to outshine what's the difference same office same work only that one guy gets the promotion or he gets the recognition in the whole process what is that why is that thing happening the interesting part i want you guys to pay attention 98% of the population guys 98% of the population live the life at their comfort that they don't want to take a plunge they don't want to take a risk hamari bas ki baat nahi hai are is this possible with me you know how can i do all these big things they are okay to settle for less they are the ones who procrastinate a lot of things okay okay i think we can do it after march you know okay i think q2 is not a great thing to start we will think about in quarter 3 you know this festival is coming only then i will start my uh, action no that is not the thing you know um, you will then regret looking at back are i should have taken the decision at that time do you agree with me are you operating at that comfort zone yeah so that's okay everyone yes uh, uh, goes through this comfort zone it's the realization is important that yeah many a times happens that we are in the comfort zone we are okay we don't want to take that kind of a risk but look at that 2% of the population i want you guys to be serious here and make a note 2% of the population guys going after their dreams you know 
Shiv Kera says in us, you can win books that winners don't do different things. They do things differently. Yeah. And that's a, such a, a volume of statement that is, you know, it's full of life, full of motivation. And you have to think differently. Only then you will be a able to achieve you you will uh, you know explore new things when you get into that zone of two percent and uh, you will get into your confidence will be there you have a lot of abundance sky will become the limit for you you will love the change you will have that excitement you are okay to embrace that uh, change you are okay to walk the unknown path if somebody has not taken this path i'm okay to take that risk and achieve it and that is what happens. And how does this happen? Yes, yes, uh, uh, Aniri, even it has changed my life reading the You Can Win uh, book. I suggest that book definitely for everyone. So how? what is the difference that 2% of the people are taking is conviction, confidence, and enthusiasm, guys. In whatever they do, in whatever the small thing or a big thing they're uh, achieving, Shivkara is the book You Can Win. So conviction, confidence, and enthusiasm, I would say that only when you start believing that you will get fired up, you will get that. Yeah, it's okay to get into that butterfly. That's fine. But, you know, uh, have, have that self-belief in yourself. I can do, I, I will do, you know, that's what is required. And enthusiasm is like a capsule guy. It's like a vitamin. You have to take it every day, every time, every now and then. If I'm doing the session like, hello guys, how are you doing the session? You know, are you interested? Game on kind of a thing. Would you like me? You will just get disconnected from me. And that's not the intent. You need to bring that energy. You need to bring that life to your uh, face. You have to have that smile in everything you do. It could be intellectually. It could be physically. That enthusiasm has to be there and confidence has to come up guys how will the confidence come up many people have this question you know how, how I, I don't know i'm okay to convince myself i'm very into person i don't have that confidence i'll give you a simple strategy here how you can win that confidence uh, anything you do your content has to be right yeah you have to be organized to have that content also in the right place yeah Newness is what you need to bring in whatever you do. F stands for you have to be having a friendly atmosphere. Yeah. And uh, you have to be impressive. Yeah. And dedicated in whatever you do. Empathy is very important, which is forgotten, guys. You have to empathy. What will the other person think about me? Uh, should I care for that person? Be in the other person's shoes and understand. Empathy plays a, a very important aspect. N is for newness. Okay, and then the other C and E is confident, uh, sorry, conviction and enthusiasm. So this is what uh, confidence stands for. If you are game for this, then you, you can uh, shine like a star, shine, be like a diamond, whatever that is. Everyone will have that butterfly. Don't panic about that. Face it. Let's do that, you know, um, let's get that excitement. So I will talk about a little bit about a framework for you guys, how to come out of the comfort zone. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just keeping a watch on my watch uh, here. So, so guys, uh, uh, now we understand that, uh, you know, the mindset, the trap part and all of that. Great things never come from a comfort zone. Do you agree to it? Yeah, your comfort zone is a place where you're safe, you're in control. It's a psychological state also that you're okay with your surroundings. You are okay with your people. You're okay in your room. Your emotions are fine there. But realize that you are hindering your personal progression and development being in the comfort zone. You know, uh, you, so pay attention here. I'm going to show you some technique, how you can move away from comfort zone to a growth zone. And that is what we are here today, right? Yeah, so the first step, what you're going to see is a fear zone. And 
majority of the people are okay or happy to be in the comfort zone that's fine you know you can be there but it, nothing grows there that is what we need to realize and we will have to move into the fear zone where we will get anxious uh, where we are insecure uh, maybe it will take a hit on our self confidence are can i do this you know will it be possible with me simple like an example i'm talking about you know get uh, you know swimming you know you want to learn a swimming first thing is you need to wear a swimsuit how comfortable are you you might be look, looking at oh my body is not that great so you know that's a fear zone i i don't want to get into no water is something i'm scared of you know all the excuses all the possible excuses you know variety of uh, things people will come out to go back to the comfort zone and that's not what i'm looking at here i want you to be in that fear zone face the fear zone knock out all that uh, excuses which you want to give for yourself because nobody knows that excuses until you say them so you shut off your mind and go out of that uh, you know break that that uh, fear zone and move into the learning zone so when when you start facing the fear right and you will start building that confidence why am i giving that silly excuse let me know let me explore what is going to ha happen there you know then you are entering the learning zone guys yeah yeah i will come back to you to be consistent and motivated every day it's a vitamin capsule you have to put in yourself you have to put on your own saying that i am fine smile looking at the mirror is very very important so once you have you know moved out of the that's a temporary place guys the fear zone is a temporary place once uh, you move out of it uh are you guys able to hear me just say yes because i just got a message your internet is not stable okay great yeah uh so so while you know uh from your comfort zone to fear zone when you're operating when you get into the learning zone you will start gaining new skills you will start gaining new experience that will expand your comfort zone horizon look at the circle of learning zone how big is it you know you are game to achieve things there because you are in the learning zone you are going to observe whatever is going to come you are going to learn from the experts and that is what is the key thing and the final stage guys is a growth zone this is where you are living the freedom this is where uh, you know that two person whom i spoke about they are the person who come till here you know they don't care what happens they want to achieve their goal yeah uh, they are okay to get un uh, uncomfortable or resilience they have they are uh, okay to face that emotions what they have to go through right so that's what you know it will impact it you will have a purpose for your life you will know why i am existing for what i am doing you will start thinking about your purpose you know that's very important you will start putting a new goals it could be getting a good job it could be building a house or getting a right connect uh, building a relationship all that happens through the growth zone anything everything you do for a first time you will go through these phases guys so that's okay accept it it's okay to get that butterfly it's okay to get that shaky thing oh public speaking how can i do that and all that i'm an introvert and i'm able to come out of it i was an introvert at that time but with the practice you know and learning the skills you can face the audience you can get into public so that is what is uh, very important uh, moving from the uh, and when you are in the growth zone guys the sky will become the limit you will start attracting people with all uh, good experience have you seen all the back benches are together have you seen all the intellectuals are together of course i am also the back bencher that's not the thing but i'm saying you will attract the people the way you are living so that is what is the uh, uh, thing you need to know in this framework and growth zone you will get into new goals new objectives you will get confident and since you have passed that journey from comfort zone to the growth zone you are okay next time when you get into another one you will start acting normal yeah i want to pause here for if any uh, you know um, yes for anybody and everybody motivation will be fades away with time but it's the energy you need to put for yourself because nobody can uh, say be sad today 
it's the choice you have made for yourself so you need to shake up your mind and say i'm going to make it you know that's the affirmation that that comes with the attitude and uh, sorry attitude is also important meditation is also important and affirmation believing in yourself only then you will be able to start doing things uh, properly uh, so so uh, i want to close it saying that you know uh, yes agree every person need to come out of comfort zone it's a great place to live but that's the place nothing grows there you know it's like you build a ship and you put it in the shore that's not the ship was built for right it's supposed to be in the sea it has to go through the wave it has to go through the tide and that's when you know the capability and you know capacity of that ship yeah uh, so that's that's the journey and and to cross this guys i'm again saying uh, write it down always the moment you get up be happy put a smile and say i can i will you know you keep doing this affirmation many a times that confidence will build in you uh, without uh, you know uh, any challenges yeah and now that you are uh, aware about the comfort zone um, mindset of people you know the framework the strategy some ground rules are also coming i'm just looking for some questions are there or anything yeah so uh, there are some ground rules guys you need to follow to be a differentiator among the herd yeah uh are you with me to be a differentiator do you want to be that one individual who is like you know uh, star or the diamond yeah right so so guys uh, let's understand pre corona or a post corona the world is not going to be the same it has infected a lot it has impacted a lot there is a wave many industries are looking at uh, they are making the shifts uh, reinventing everything through new approach social distancing has become a talk of uh, on top of your mind even though there is nothing you will have that kind of a mindset people have that kind of a mindset uh, you know that's going to go, go there uh, but how soon are you going to adapt to the process and your coming to the normalcy like uh, you, you can see the marriages are happening with only 2 5 10 people so that's the adaptation quickly to adapt to the process and getting to normalcy you don't need that kind of a big bang to do all the things yeah so if you are not quick to make those changes in your positions in your life or in your business then you will be at the losing side so change is very important and how quick you are it is not survival of the fittest it is survival of the quickest have you seen there are so many jobs have gone some 47 million jobs have gone in us that is what uh, i heard in one of the news so what you need to do at this stage is you need to be very quickest in terms of your quick decision quick action quick learning is what you need to look at it's like count banega karodpati how many of you know about it it's like fastest finger first they say right it is not fastest finger first uh, comes to the hot seat but it's the quickest one will come on to the hot seat so that is what uh, is going to be and this corona has made us that you know uh, office less world is what we are going to see going forward and forced entrepreneurship is something uh, uh, will come up uh, i'm just looking at the chat if there is something uh, forced entrepreneurship is something which will hit you you like it or don't like it you are going to have that kind of a entrepreneurship mindset you will be hired for your skill you will be paid for that particular project don't think about you are going to get a full time job or a you know government job kind of a thing those all thing everything is going to have a drastic change in the world so get prepared uh, you know the nature has slapped us very well to have a conscious in living conscious the way we live and adding value to yourself and to the society is very important in the whole process guys so your daily routine your distractions your communication is what you need to be very mindful about yeah 
so one thing you know uh, very important i saw somebody saying you know uh, very chilled way we'll be in pajamas and all of that be disciplined is very very important i'm okay with the pajamas but then you know uh, the moment you become disciplined getting up early in the morning that's what one thing my dad taught me you know the moment you get up from the bed you need to fold your blanket make your bed ready and then move out you know you've already made one win by just doing that and then in, you will able to do many more wins in throughout the day so that is what is important so to be disciplined that means you have to get up as per your regular time take bath make notes uh, and you know get prepared as though you're going for a college as though you're going for a work get dressed well appropriately and set your working hours also i see people working from morning 7 to night 11 you know that's not the stress life we want to have plan a right schedule and you know exercise uh, is become an important thing now because our health uh, we have to build our immune system and all of that yeah and in the process rest well guys and you also need to do some fun stuff too yeah uh, yes distractions are there uh, again and again i know that you know uh, plan your schedule guys you know uh, i remember we doing our dairies in the school time right we were writing our dairy every day what we are going to do our homework and all of that we are not we have forgotten the whole things you know that's a value at which we are going to get so if you can uh, start journaling also would add value yeah uh, yeah uh, school time only no we should do every day even now until the end of our life uh, dairy has to be maintained so the some of the distractions you need to pay attention guys uh, please unplug from the wi-fi unless needed and be from away from the fear and stress this is always there and you have made your mind to make it you know that you're going to face it and stay off from social media also just because you have everything on the finger uh, you know tip uh, just think about a time how much are you paying attention for your linkedin facebook insta twitter snapchat tiktok whatever thing how much of the time is going throughout the whole day please have a disconnect that's a big big distraction for your successful thing yeah and definitely separate workspace from the rest space guys you can't take a laptop sit on your bed continue your work and feel that energetic you will not get that life have that space properly and keep the television turned off i see some news coming in the morning and when i switch on again in the evening it is the same damn news coming there so keep the television off unless it is required see some regional national and international news and that should be a value add to you guys yeah i spoke about the journaling collaborate is very important at this pandemic time because you are work from home you have all the time collaborate social interaction is very important uh, connect at the rightful time with the right people is also uh, another added advantage learn a new skill that's critical for your success for your career you know um, if you are not building the practice of continuous learning then you are outdated that's what happens and listen to experts guys revisit your hobby uh, very important you are social media marketer yes if your business is running on social media or insta then you need to be there <coughs> I'm talking about other people who need not be on the social media for that long. Yeah. But even if you're there, uh, be there to build your brand, be there to build your network, be there to bring your value add to other people. That is what is important. Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, Shilpi, I, I also agree. I'm also on the social media for, yeah. Um, yeah, revisiting the hobby is very, very important. Uh, you, you can take your, uh, you know, uh, dancing thing. Some people were saying cooking as an hobby. People were talking earlier. All of this was what we need to, uh, you know, um, uh, you have to pick it up and reflect your career plan. Very, very important, guys, at this point of time. Government is supporting us with all the required things and this is an opportunity to live conscious uh, life to make a right decision and uh, uh, to reset everything you know you have to do that and if you want to be a leader if you want to be a differentiator it is not a lucky charm who wins it is the hard worker who wins yeah and hard worker with the continuity with the commitment with a disciplined way only then he will be able to achieve the win 
okay and not i did this week very great i put in 40 hours of work and next week i slept for 10 hours no that is not the thing it should be continuity in whatever you doing to have a successful life so these three things you need to keep in mind while you're working from home uh, daily routine has to be in a right habit form distractions has to be avoided and communication has to be done to value add for your career for your growth for your development only then you do that communication as much you communicate it it's it makes a important thing and with that note uh, guys uh, do you have any questions here you know yeah so, uh, attention span time is only 7 minutes is what they say how long should i work it's uh, 8 hours but in between uh, you need to take a regular break is also very important yeah learning yoga cooking singing yes practice all of that because those are all the stress busters for you it's very important that you know you uh, do all of that uh, what kind of business uh, you know digital uh, digital transformation is something very big i'm seeing so that is what you will be seeing and i think uh, this is not the forum to talk about the business opportunities and the, how you can scale what kind of industries you need to look at there are so many research already done available on google please do that yeah uh, introvert to extrovert yes it comes with a practice you have to have that self-belief to come out of that you know uh, i'm going to face it today if you are in a meeting i'm the shy guy i'll be in the corner and i don't want to do that talking let the others talk i'll do i am okay with that no take that lead they do start doing that talking be front of the project if for anything if there is a small birthday bash happening uh, plunge in the front then there will be a value add yeah so confidence i told about if you're content you if you're organized if you're comfortable with your content you will have effectiveness in whatever you're doing you will be more confident with the people when you're talking yeah Uh, yeah, you have to take that planning appropriately. You know your schedule. How do we invest time while working? You know, uh, definitely. Uh, I have been a podcaster also. So, you know, my, uh, you know, after dinner, I have kept one hour time for my podcasting research and my study. So that's what we need to look at our schedule. Nobody can help us with that, uh, uh, you know, Anupam. We need to uh, look at the schedule of ourselves, personal life and professional life. And where are you getting that? space you know that is where you need to make that uh, shift yeah so so uh, I, I want to tell you a story here guys uh, which is very very important uh, there's a huge elephant you can see there on a bright sunny uh, day it's ha had a nice bath in the river and it was walking on the road okay when it neared the bridge in the uh, forest right it saw a wild pig there which is completely muddy dirty in coming from the opposite direction you know what happened elephant quietly uh, moved to one side allowing this pig to pass by so this unclean pig now later it went inside the forest and it spoke to all of his friends saying that you know uh, in a lot of arrogance a lot of attitude you know even the that big elephant is afraid of me and you know it gave me a way while i'm crossing the bridge you know the gossip you you see that right office gossip it's like a grape wine um, um it spreads uh, across so this news spread across to even to the elephant friends and elephant friends were really worried and they were wondering what the hell you know this is a such a small pig and this big elephant is getting scared of it they went and spoke to him listen we heard this what happened and you know the elephant just smiled isn't it that smile forgotten by many people these days yeah so please smile guys now when you're listening to me at least yeah uh, so, you know, the elephant smiled and it replied to its friend saying that I could have easily crushed this pig under my leg, you know, but I was clean and the pig was very dirty. So I wanted to avoid getting dirty myself. So I moved aside. Look at the mindset. What is the moral of the story here? What is that you're learning from this? Yeah, negativity affects the vibe of the motivator towards work. Yes. 
yeah so everyone is smiling thank you so much yeah so 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 the learning is you know you will get contact to such people in life guys arrogance negativity backstabbers politics all of this will be there in your life also even at home you will see uh, are you can't do that you shut up now all of these things you will hear from people so it's the choice guys you need to make to avoid contact with such people it's not out of fear i know that it's out of desire that you know uh, to keep away from all this negativity it should not hamper you your growth your development are that dirty pig talking about something should not hamper a huge elephant like you so that's the choice so you need not react to every opinion every comment or every situation you know kick the drama from your uh, dictionary and you know move ahead and and this is one message i want to give guys choose your battles wisely and not everything deserves your time and attention yeah uh, that is the reason and it is with the desire that you know you need to move with that positive attitude and uh, if you have liked this uh, story say yes you know um, you will choose the battle wisely say yes to me so i know that you know Uh, we don't want to get into a negativity we want to have that positive outlook uh, yes big yes thank you it's a real life yeah it's not a story it's a definitely a real life guys we go through all of these uh, things yeah so so that's a key thing which is very very important uh, so guys i quickly want to tell because of the benefit of time i see there is a greatest gift of nature is the six best doctors in the world and the, the image says it's everything right it's simple pure natural thing that 99% of us can control and these are the best doctors for our health and well being and and worst is this is the most important thing which are mostly ignored so sunlight is something it's the overall feeling of happiness which you get uh, it's just not the happiness it's a hope it's a full of life it's a vitamin d for you for the your from your health point of view very very important pay attention to sunlight guys water is another important thing drinking a 2 liters of water or a 8 glass mineral water whatever water you want to drink keep hydrated very important air uh definitely the pollution has come down uh, fresh air is something uh, very well uh, now so once a day an absolute minimum to get into the fresh air exercise is a must uh, keep moving your body rest is another important element uh, power nap is something which i want you to pay attention to and diet is also uh, you need to focus on if this is struck a chord to you that these are all important thing then please type x so uh, <laughs> oh thanks thanks somebody i got a fan here and a follower uh, thank you so much for that in type number 6 if you think these are the six nature doctors which you will order to guys steve jobs and ratan tata also added that self confidence and friends your friends don't miss out on your friends they are also in the list they are also a natural healer for you when you talk to your friends you feel relaxed you feel much better yeah Six and eight, yeah, good. Thank you so much for that. But then, guys, since I'm in coming from the learning and development, I can't uh, stop without giving some reading, some uh, learning to you guys. Uh, reading not only makes you smarter, you know, it actually increases your brain power. So it's like jogging uh, makes your body better, right? Reading regularly improves your memory function, and that's a good worker. See, twenty minutes in a day or a ten minutes in a day, if you start, uh, uh, you know, looking at a book, it would be a better one to, you know, give uh, brain some uh, exercise. Yeah, the first three books, what you see. is definitely a self motivation book has made a difference to my life i definitely want to recommend you guys to go through them uh, uh, you know you will take things right in a very positive uh, approach yeah and the next two books are like a classic books right uh, guys think and grow rich and zero to one uh, this is something uh, think and grow is published 1937 but 
uh, it is still value add it, it talks about your monetary and self, uh, personal satisfaction uh, how you need to grow rich zero to one is something you know it talks how to build a billion dollar company because we are into entrepreneurship mode and this is very important and if you don't like to get into the reading get into the audible because if you get, can listen when you are on your move and all of that linkedin is another place guys please brand yourself in the linkedin uh, you have a lot of options there to tell about yourself your certifications your education your uh, projects what you're working on place it there uh, if you were looking for a job career people will be looking for that recruiters will be looking for that profile and you will be able to game on uh, here is a podcast which i have started on my own i am the first learning and development podcaster for india and my podcast name is stars of learning and i interview the thought leaders so it's just not my podcast i'm saying podcast is a new thing in india listen to all of these podcasts very important guys you can look at itunes google podcast spotify you listen to music but switch to uh, you know listening to some thought leaders uh, discussion movies definitely because i i think many people will enjoy looking at the uh, movies uh, i'm also a big movie buff um, these are some of the good movies motivational movies you definitely need to look at yeah inside out book talks a uh, movie talks about the five emotions in your life the bucket list talks about the life of your uh, uh, you know at the end of your life what is that you need to achieve before you kick that bucket you know that's the list theory of everything is from stephen hawking you know you should be looking at that the uh, the lion king i really love the cartoon uh, is the dad and son relationship and how son takes the accountability and responsibility you know that's something which we need to look at so the, so that's uh, pretty much uh, from my side which i wanted to give insight Uh, i'm sure you will be able to manage with all of this uh, working from home um, yeah uh, so both uh, programs are good i'm just seeing the questions here few people have uh, uh, how to start a conversation on linkedin please start that because unless you start the connect you can start with your friends with your lecturers uh, with uh, coworkers where you are working and then you will be able to uh do that a uh, self motivated working at home you should be uh, only when you get energized take shower and you know uh, get dressed up properly and have a place for you to sit and work then you will be able to uh, add value to it i hope i was able to add value and there is some take away for you if you say please say win on my chat box so i know that you people are energized and look forward for that win in your life too in this pandemic period i definitely want everyone to win i want to engage enlighten and empower all the people if i made a difference please write to win yeah sure sure thank you so much yeah yeah definitely thank you yes yes i've i've answered most of your questions and you could feel free to connect to me at my linkedin or on my twitter yeah yeah thank you so much guys yeah thank you thank you i'll be glad to engage and enlighten you guys uh, please uh, feel free to connect on the linkedin yeah lovely thank you so much Oh, that's wonderful! Thank you, guys. Oh, really? I will look forward for connection. Yes. Oh, Anurag, thank you. I look forward for those pictures. Yes, listen to my podcast. You have more such sessions uh, which I have done my discussion. LinkedIn ID is already put there for you. Reference. It's Jyoti hyphen G. uh i i think you can see this recording uh, nmims people can help you with that i'm sure they will be posting it somewhere thank you guys you made my day by saying all this wonderful things for me that's wonderful <laughs> 
yes yes please so keep smiling guys thank you gautam yes please spread this out yeah only when you share you learn no, together yeah wow i'm i'm really energized in now you know yeah <laughs> thank you yeah i hope i was able to add a value thank you guys yes there is josh bersin has already published his article uh, please follow josh bersin he is talking a lot of about hr related how to work from home and things like that yes very important stay safe stay home and stay happy and uh, be positive in whatever you do jyoti 91215 is my twitter account yeah just to jyoti ji on google you should be able to see me yes sure love you love you all guys thank you thank you so much for the connect i think we will uh... yes there has been a low time when you know one of my relative came and told me that you know i can't do any study further because i got a early marriage in my life that was like a shutter for me can i do something or not you know 12th standard getting married and you know not like that now i have a double degree uh, you know i i have a post graduation with two degrees mba and i am a director i am leading a global function uh, so that's a wow factor so look at the struggles as a challenging thing in your life guys so you should challenge the struggle only then you will be able to make that win time is definitely limited everyone gets 24 hours no more no more account the god withdraws the next uh, day the whole thing yes i am from bangalore guys namma bengaluru yes yes thank you sure sure so so guys stay safe uh, take care of yourself don't venture out unless it is critical um, enjoy and look forward to your connects thank you thank you so much you all made my day i namaste ketan thank you